Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make this cute little macrame plant hanger. You only need a couple things and it's pretty simple to make once you get the hang of it. Um, you need macrame cord, obviously. This one is three millimeter, which is the size I like for making plant hangers. Um, I buy it on Amazon. I'll link all that stuff in my blog post down below. And then you also need some kind of ring at the top for hanging it. These I get off of Etsy. They're like a dollar a ring. These are three inch, which is the size I like for this. You can use any size that you want though. So. Here's how you get started. Move all this stuff out of the way. So to start, you need eight pieces of macrame cord that are 12 feet long. So this is my eight pieces. And then you're gonna fold them in half and put them through the ring like this. So the middle is right here and you've got the long ends going down. Now, to start the top, you can either just tie a big knot in it which is pretty fast and easy, or I'm gonna show you real quick how to make this little fancy topper. To do that, you need about another piece of cord that's about two feet long, give or take. You can make it longer if you want to have a longer top. You're gonna to put it up like this, come down and make a loop, and then you're gonna start wrapping it around just under the ring, like so. You're gonna hold it nice and tight while you wrap. Keep wrapping down, wrapping down. I'm um, trying to keep it tight and keep all of the wraps close together so it's nice and snug up there. Let's shift them up if they get too far apart. Just go around a few more times until you get um, kind of the size that you want. You can go a little bit more. So when you get down to just a little tail left over, you're going to take that and you're going to stick it through this loop that you left at the beginning. And then if you pull the top string, it's going to pull that end up in here and tuck it in really nice and neat so you don't have any tails hanging out. And you can clip this. One more little tug to get that up in there. And then clip off the top. So it takes a little bit longer than just tying a knot, but it doesn't take a super long time, and look how cute that is. So, for the next part, we're gonna start making our knots. Now, it helps a lot when you're making these if you have something you can pull against um, to help keep your knots tight. So you can like hang it on a doorknob um, or a hook on the wall. I actually have command hooks to attached to my table up here, so I can pull it taut like that. You're gonna take your cord and you're gonna divide it into four groups of four. Four groups of four strands. Get all these tangles out. Whew. It's kinda like combing here. First you gotta get untangled. Then you can split it up. Okay, so there's one group, two groups, three, four groups. Okay, so once you have your four sections, you can start making the knots. Um, the first thing I like to do is measure down about 20 inches from the top. That's where I like to start my knots for this size of plant hanger. You can make them longer or shorter depending on how you want it to hang. Um, if you're gonna make a longer one, you probably wanna start with more than 12 feet of cord at the beginning so you don't run out. So for this size, I'm gonna start about 20 inches. And I'm just gonna take all these strands and I'm gonna make a knot right here to start with. That will help keep everything together really nice and neatly as we make our, our macrame knots later. Now it doesn't have to be exactly 20 inches, you know. Close enough is close enough. And then you'll just use this one as a guide and you'll knot each of these sections right at the same height as wherever that one ended up. You know, 20 inches, give or take. Um, but it's easier to match up to where your knot is than to remeasure and try to get them the same. Because they kind of wiggle around a little, you know. Get those nice and tight. One more. Scooch that one up a little bit. 
Okay, so we have our four sections and now we can start making the macrame knots. Um, we'll start over here. So you're gonna take your four strings and you're gonna leave two in the center and pull one out to each side like this. And starting on the left side, we're gonna cross over the two middle strings. Then we're gonna take the right one and come over the left cord and go under all this and up through the loop over here. Like so. And then you're just gonna pull these up nice and tight against your knot. And then if you were making a square knot, your next step would be opposite. You'd go right side over um, and come up underneath. And that would give you this kind of knot where it lays nice and flat. If you wanna make a spiral knot like we're gonna to make today, you just keep crossing the same direction. So for every knot, we're gonna do left over the top, bring the right side up under. And we'll just keep going until it's as long as we want. Left side over, come up from the bottom. So since I keep so since I keep doing my knots the same way, coming the left side over, putting the right side under and through, you can see how my knots are making a spiral pattern instead of laying flat like they did on this plate hanger. See the difference? So either way is fine. Either way is easy. So if you like one better, do it. Oh, also, if you want to add beads like I did on this one, you got to add those before you put the knot in. So you have been warned. So I keep knotting until I have about four inches of knots. Of course you can do more or less, depending on how you want it to look. You don't have to do an exact amount, of course. Um, I just know that for this amount of cord, that if I do four inches of knots, I'm gonna still have enough left um, at the end to finish everything off. So I try not to go past that, because um, I'm afraid I'll run out. So, you're just gonna do knots until you get to about four inches, and then you can do the same thing with all three of these sections. Make a match. So I don't bother counting knots or anything when I do this. I just go until they're the same, nice and easy. That way if my knots aren't all ending up quite exactly the same size, it doesn't even matter. It's gonna look just fine. So there's three done. I got one more to go. Just gonna go left over the top, bring it right up under. I'll show you a couple more times because if you can get this knot down, you can make just about any macrame that you want. So I'm hoping you can see it clearly. It's gonna go over that one and bring it up through the loop on the left. Boop.
Okay, so you have those done. Go and twist them because they twist themselves up as you're going when they make the spiral. And then we're gonna start connecting these sections together. Um, so starting with these two, you're gonna divide the four strings in half. So you have a middle cord and an outside cord. Middle cord and an outside cord. And we're gonna use that to put these two together. Actually, let me switch this up a little bit real quick. Okay. So we're gonna do basically the same kind of knot that we just did. I'm gonna go down about four inches again. And we're just gonna let these two be the middle section. And using these ones, we're gonna cross over the left. Bring the right out under and up through the loop. Now, this time, instead of crossing the left over again, we're gonna do the box knot. So this time, we'll take the right and cross it over. Then the left is gonna come over top of that, then go under and up through the loop on the right. Like that. That's gonna give us this nice flat square knot. So at the top, if you wanted, instead of the spirals, um, to have the flatter knots, you would do box knots like that going all the way down. So you switch left, right, left, right, left, right. Um, for here, we're just gonna do one more. So we're gonna do one from the left again. And then we're gonna do one from the right. There you go. Now, when you're doing um, these box knots, I like to do four inches because that works out well for the size of pot I have. Um, the farther apart you put these, the more it will be able to stretch to hold a bigger pot. So if you're using a larger pot, you might wanna leave a little more space in between. If you're doing a tiny pot, you might wanna put them a little bit closer but they're pretty flexible. They can stretch quite a bit um, either way. So this should work for most sizes of pots that you would reasonably expect to hang in a hanging planter. Okay, so now we're gonna take the next side of this, take our next section, and we're gonna separate a middle and a side from that. And we're just gonna do the same thing again. We're gonna combine these two together. We're letting those be the middle. We're gonna cross this over. Bring your right side under. Oh boy, tangled. And we're just gonna line it up with this one. Right there. Then to make the box knot, we're gonna cross the right side over the top again. And bring the left side down under. Like so. And then we'll do left over top. And then right over top. Like so. And just keep doing that until we work all the way around. So we've got the first three done. Now we're gonna bring these two around to do the final knot. Cause this is basically gonna form a loop around your pot. So these two need to come in together like this. And you're gonna use them and do the same thing. Start with the left and then do the right. So we get a nice, you know, I'm not sure if it's called a box knot or a square knot or what, but it is not a spiral, I can tell you that much. So you can make sure this is even with the two on the sides. And we're gonna do a little knot from the right. One from the left again. And then one more from the right. Okay. Got all that done. Now we're gonna do basically the same thing one more time. So we're gonna take two sections side by side like this. We're gonna separate, so you have a middle and an outside, a middle and an outside. And we're gonna join these together to make our, our final row of knots. Now for these ones, for the size of pot I use, I only leave about three inches um, for these knots. So I just like how it sits on the pot a little better than the bigger gap. 
So you might need to try it out too if you have a certain size pot you're using a lot. Um, test one out and see if you feel like they need to be closer or farther. Or what's gonna look the way you want. Go out just a smidgen higher. That's good enough. Remember they don't have to be perfect as long as you make each one match. So we're doing the box knot slash square knot again. Put the left side on the top first and then the right side going across the top and the left side coming under. So we're just going to repeat this all the way around like we did with the top row. Oh wait, that's wrong. So you got to make sure these are lined up the right way too. See, I had this one twisted. Let me turn this. So if I tied it like that, this section would be twisted when I hang it up. So you need to make sure they're flat, facing the same way when you choose which cord you're going to put together. And we're just going to line it up with our knot on the last one. Right there-ish. Close enough is close enough. She's my favorite kind of project. And that's it for your knots. So you can see it's kind of like um, a tube now, which you'll be able to put your pot into. We just have to close up the bottom, which is super easy. You could do a fancy knot like the top if you wanted to, but usually for this part, I just tie a big old knot on there. And it looks just fine. And you can see, you might want to try it out based on the size of your pot and see how far down you want the knot to go to. I just kind of eyeball it because I know it works out pretty well when it's this-ish far. <laughs> um, and then I just try to pull each strand and get all these little bits tightened up. So it looks nice and neat. There we go. That's the one I was waiting for. Aha. Okay. And that's it. Oh, and then you probably want to clip the ends all even because you'll have all different straggly lengths um, just based on how your knots go. You're using some strings more than others. So just clip off all that extra. And you have made an aqua my plate hanger. Look at that. So you can make them any way that you want, any size that you want, super long, super short. You can do the spiral knots. You can do the flat knots. You can add beads, do it without. Um, once you know those basic knots, you can make it any way you want to. And actually, actually they are the basis for most of macrame. If you want to make wall hangings or anything, um, those are pretty much the knots you'll be using. So let me know if you care to try and have fun. And remember that my blog, morelikehome.net, has a post with more info, with pictures, um, links to where I buy everything, and more tips. Check it out. Let me know how it goes.